这里是哪里？哦。好。打得赢吗？哎、欸，不行。那这个是干的。这是人是不是啊？不是啊，这是谁？ You need some help. Henry, there's work to be done. Wake up, Henry. It's past sunrise. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. Oh, I saw it. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah! I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa. Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rite. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you, but you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents. I. I wanted to bury them. I had to. Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> It's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <coughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse, but at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyszek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Oh. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them, everyone I ever loved, they killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Searching for me? Yes, Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me, but as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Oh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. 
I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Hmm. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanisch of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Uh, I Holy shit. 风景很棒 城堡在后面, 他還就是你, My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Oh. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh... Let's say the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You could dig all right. But somewhere else, 
I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? My God! I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. <laughs> There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. OK， 哇，他要铲尸体的地方，蛮远的。那他说遇到狗要给他肉，有鸡肉。哇，前面有军营呢，应该是吧？哎、欸，不，哦，不是。那我们去看一下好了，私闯那个他们的。明仔啊！哦，这也是澡堂哦，那也不用躲来躲去啊这样偷人家鱼有可以吗？捕鱼陷阱因为等一下就是要去挖尸体了，那但最好是不要遇到那个屠夫，行刑人还是屠夫？哎呦，前面有个村民，问他一下这边最近发生什么事情，不能讲话，为什么？哎、欸，阿伦嘞，机晕，啊这样不行，他就知道我是，应该是我干的，这样不行。他很干的蠢事。哦，他们的行刑抬到了，直接就在旁边买了，是不是？是这个吗？脚架三，是不是这个尸体啊？好像是、欸，开挖。Oh my god! Nothing on the left hand. The right. Oh shit! There's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, the stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. 行刑台旁边住的是怎样的人？看一下、哦。
，还有一把剑。啊，他不会就是那个叫我不要靠近的那个，好吧，先不要先不要激怒他。可是他好像也没怎样，我又不能储存，你知道吗？先回去找他吧，先不要那个，先不要轻举妄动。这是快速旅行啊，超屌的！啊，来了，那个尸体根本就没有你讲的东西啊。There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried it. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. Oh, bah. All right. I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? Get past a lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. I have some experience. All right. I'm glad to hear you're not as clumsy as you look. Here's a lock pick for the job. 狗比较麻烦，可能要开战了。来了，要用偷的。如果不要跟他打架，我要怎么弄？先丢一块肉看看。一，不可能。我的鸡，好吧，这只鸡真的陪我好久了。如果要偷东西的话，我把全部装备都先拿掉，比较不会吵，你知道吗？它这边有噪音嘛，尽量把，尤其是穿这一件，噪音会更多嘛。我们尽量把噪音都拿掉。现在噪音二十五，现在噪音一。零，零噪音了。OK， 哎、欸，啊，我的剑呢？哦，你蹲下的时候不能拔剑，是不是？了解，了解，了解。Let's go。前面好像是死路哎。Fuck。我先环视一下这周围啊。这里还有个地方可以进去啊养了太多狗了，你知道？那一只猪该怎么办？一直在睡觉，一直在吃东西先看一下你家有什么好康的，这可以熄火熄掉吗？不行。怎么一直觉得我走路有声音啊？可是我噪音不是降到零了吗？好，他在那里嘛，开锁。我看可不可以先把他用晕哦，击击晕他。
扛起尸体，可是他昏迷而已啊，对吧？门的钥匙，能打开这一栋楼的钥匙，拿走啊。箱子钥匙，这样我就不用开锁了。可是我怎么觉得他好像已经看到我了？没关系啊，我我我改天就离开这里了，无所谓。What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a ten penny. 不值钱的东西，他就叫我拿，那就奇怪。乞丐的长袍，大头棒，敲晕别人的是,是，而且带在身上又蛮重的，价格二十六倒是还不错。回去卖一卖啊。好，我们离开吧。大便一下好不好？<笑>好，这边不能储存是不是？好吧。OK， 我们办正事。哎、欸，没有东西可以吃，哇！所以我的食物要自己准备哦。这一锅不能再吃了，好吧？吃一些啊，吃掉，因为我现在营养四十五。为什么会扣能量啊？不好吃吗？能量是就是疲疲劳度啊，能量就像你的疲劳度这样。I have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. Would you teach me something about the milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own. Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. I at first was just hunting you. Ah, no. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you, and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. 过去。This was for real. I'll be yelling for a guard. Try it. 哦，你不能松开哦。过去。If this was for real, I'll be yelling for a guard. Try it again. 哦，这里有个绿色。啊，这怎样？我靠，太快了吧！超难弄的。That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. 我还不如直接把它击晕再拿，会比较好一点。